So I'm Lyndon. I. Um, in essence, the community is a Slack channel primarily, and it's a great place for everyone to go along and actually ask questions, get advice, get history. Um, and the great thing about the community is that actually people who have joined completely fresh have gone on to actually win races, um, which is pretty cool. But also those people tend to actually stay around and help the next generation of people who come in. So it's a continuous cycle in the processor. But Slack, that's where you can go and join. Join.dracing.io um, is the best place to start. Um, but we also have introduced a blog recently and a wiki. And the wiki is a key going forward. So we're trying to capture all the knowledge that the community members have been developing and stick it in a place to supplement the documentation that Amazon provides um, in the processor. And we're also about to start running some community races um, in the process to supplement, again, the official ones from Amazon. So beyond that, then, um, there's a whole bunch of things we do in the community. Um, the first of those is problem solving, be that actually trying to work out why our models aren't performing and getting other advice and help, but also actually finding problems in the deep racer stack. We found a whole bunch of bugs, which is great. It helps actually improve over time um, in the process there. But we have a whole bunch of experts in there. So that is also um, not just the deep racing people who've been doing it for like six, seven months, but actually we have the AWS deep racer teams. We have product owners and engineers and support team, the data science team. They're all in there um, taking um, on board uh, our feedback, our questions, and, and helping wherever they can. And so we have a great access to that team. Um, but generally speaking, it's, it's been a way of, uh, as a collective learning, getting us all progressing. And um, you'll see if you look at the leaderboard for the championships of the 64 finalists, more than half of them came from the Deep Racer community. Um, so the, we must be doing something right out the back of that. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other things around there. So it's actually pretty big. Um, Although we started back in May um, this year, we are now at over 1,300 members um, and growing rapidly, particularly this week. Um, it's been promoted in all the Deep Racer workshops uh, across the session catalog. Um, since we started, we've had over 105,000 messages. Uh, interestingly, more than half of those are in private DM channels. Um, so there's a lot of back channel chatting, collaboration, discussions, which is as important as the public ones as well in there. Um, and we have people from all over the world. Um, and as I say, we've had lots and lots of winners. Um, and we did a little survey back in August of where everyone's coming from. Uh, and it just goes to show that Deep Race has not been localized to any particular geography. Everyone is coming in from a lot of places, which is great. And at the back of that now, we've been running meetups. So um, London is the one that I run. Um, it's been most popular, most regular. We've been running one every month since about July time. Uh, New York has actually had three or four as well. Um, but we have a whole bunch more planned. And the key to this is actually through 2020, we plan to actually have um, uh, meetups in many, many more locations. And so actually a call to anyone is if you want to run a meetup in your location, there's not one. Have a chat with us. We've got uh, access to cars and engineers from, from AWS, so we can hopefully sort you out. And if not, we'll register your interest and, and we'll find a way of making that making that work for you. Uh, and in a couple of weeks' time, we're going to be publishing a, a blog post on how to actually run a Deep Racer event, um, how to make it successful. And in London, we've been getting regularly sort of 60, 70 people coming along and having a go on a track just like this, um, but also sessions to help people get started. So. As a community, um, it actually started back after the London Summit, and there's me racing on the track. Um, and at the end of the day, I finished fifth place. Um, Thomas finished in uh, fourth place, so slightly ahead of me, which is good. Third place, sorry, my bad. Third place, too ahead of me. Um, but what I found was is that actually all the other top 10 winners were, we had such a really interesting conversation that I didn't want it to finish there and then. And so I took all their email addresses, LinkedIn, and I then just created the Slack channel at the end of the day. It was only intended to be a small private chat for a bunch of people, but it ended up now growing rapidly because so many people were interested in it. So the history, uh, as I say, was it started as just friendly chats, friendly conversations. Um, we had our first community winners, people were actually coming in, um, getting advice from the community, going out to the summits and winning them, um, purely off the back of, of, of the collaborative help we've had in here. So that, that, was, that was a great thing. But very quickly then in June, Amazon got wind of what we were doing. Um, and instead of trying to shut us down, they actually uh, were quite supportive and collaborative, um, which is not surprising because this is primarily the main support base for deep racing now going forwards. And if uh, you go and look at the getting started guide on the AWS documentation, step six is come join the community now, which is, um, which is great. Um, we had our first London meetup. Um, 
and uh, we, we got a whole bunch of engineering done around the, the stack to make it more flexible as to how you can run that as well. Um, come July, uh, we had phenomenal growth, um, and you'll see in a minute why that was uh, in there. We also started doing actually um, training for dummies, which has made it really, really easy for people to get going um, with the tech stack in, in different ways uh, in the process there. Uh, and then, yeah, August, Udacity. Um, so for those who, who weren't familiar, Udacity ran a competition um, through August, September and October. Um, the top 200 or 300 racers would get a free nano degree um, on machine learning. So there's a lot of interest. Uh, they ended up having like tens of thousands of people register for that. Uh, and in the space of the day, the community pretty much tripled in size um, off the back of it. And actually, if you look at the, the leaders of uh, the Udacity competition, uh, a significant portion of them actually did come from the community as well. Um, and then over the last few months, it has just grown and grown and grown. Um, as I say, we've been in lots of community uh, races and meetups and we've got the blog going and then of course this week the championships so uh, actually some of the talks this afternoon have been rescheduled because the people are actually racing over the MGM at the moment as part of the final 16 but uh, yeah unfortunately I wasn't one of them um, going forward um, we want to build a knowledge base um, one thing we really realized is with Slack, we're on the free version of it, so there's only 10,000 messages history, which is about a week's worth of chat. And there's a lot of knowledge back in there um, that would be really useful. So we've got all that archived, and we're going to try and encapsulate the core points of uh, that and put it on a knowledge base. Um, also through videos and, and online sort of um, educational pieces to supplement what Amazon are doing. Uh, and yeah, there's the graph of when Udacity came online. You can see um, it spiked up quite a bit. So if you uh, would like to join the community, then please head over there. Um, and that's uh, a simple sign up form to, to Slack and then you'll be in there. When you get into the community, you'll find there are many different channels on all sorts of different topics. So whatever your problem or interest might be, if you're just getting started, um, that's great. If you want to find out about action spaces, there's a channel dedicated to that and so on. So have a good look down the channel list and find out what is most useful. And if not, ask me or Thomas and we're pretty quick to reply to most things on there. Uh, and that's pretty much it in terms of community. Um, any questions off the back of that? No? Okay, great. So um, in terms of today then, uh, I don't expect to be able to read that. As I say, it's slightly mixed around now, um, so we'll see how it pans out uh, based on timings and who turns up and doesn't turn up. Um, but we have a whole bunch of um, sessions, starting with uh, Elizabeth, who um, you would have seen at the back there, we've got the go-kart, which is really interesting. Um, so she'll talk us through how she took the Deep Racer stack and, and applied it to the go-kart to go around a real track, which is, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing that one. Uh, the math session um, is not going to happen because um, uni is over in the, in, in the MGM. Maybe if he gets back here in time, we might schedule that later on. Um, and that's not one I'm willing to do myself because <laughs> I'll be honest with you, the maths behind it are uh, quite interesting. The good thing about Deep Racer, the console, is you don't need to know any of that. Um, it abstracts all that away so you can get going very quickly. And then once you've got a level of expertise and experience, you can start diving down into the technology underneath it. Um, and then we've got a session on uh, going from the simulator to reality. So one thing you'll find is that when you start training your models in the virtual environment, they perform hopefully quite well, and you do well in the virtual races. You then download it and bring it to a track just like the one over here, and it will just crash. Uh, and so that getting it transferable from, from the virtual to the simulation environment is a real interesting challenge. And Ray actually um, got into the finals by um, doing well at many summits. I think he went to four summits in the end or something like that. So he's got quite a lot of experience in that. Um, then we've got a little bit around actually uh, what's under the hood of Deep Racer uh, and the general sort of architecture. Um, then uh, around three o'clock, um, we've got Carl, uh, who's going to tell us how, of the six virtual races uh, in the 2019 league, he won three of them. Um, so he must be doing something quite right on that front. And supposedly he's going to tell us all his secrets, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, we've then got Scott, who's going to tell us about how you can run your own event and some of the experience he's had in doing that. You might know Scott from the Cloud Guru uh, Deep Racer uh, video sessions. Um, he uh, presents those. Um, we've then got... Uh, uh, Martin um, and Sujoy, who are going to actually tell us about Capital One and how they've been using Deep Racer to actually help educate teams and get them engaged. Um, and then 
the last session there is about working out when you've had enough. So one of the things about, I say, coming back to the physical track is how you've overfitted your track, overfitted your model, sorry, and it's got too use to the environment. So when you get a little shadow or something else, it just doesn't know how to react to that. So uh, there's some science behind how you can make your model more transferable into the real world. And then after that, um, we will have a open Ask an Expert session with a panel um, of experts. Um, so yeah, that's pretty both informal. One thing we are also doing is we are giving away a Deep Racer car. So if you would like the chance to win a Deep Racer car, then join the community, uh, open up a direct message um, with the community bot, um, and just simply send the message, enter raffle racing, which is today's code, and we will do the draw at 5.30. You have to be here to win. Um, if you're not here, we will roll again and see who, who gets in there next. Uh, and you can take it away with you, basically, every day. Any questions from that? Um, cool. So I think I... Oh, tell us. It, the question was, um, can you enter again if you entered yesterday? Yes. In fact, if you did enter yesterday, that's all been wiped clean, so it's fair uh, again today. So um, yes, go on there, enter again if you entered yesterday and you want to enter again today. Means if you didn't enter yesterday, it doesn't really matter. You just enter again today. Any other questions? OK, um, so the next session then starts in 12.30. Uh, um, and I think at the back, actually, we are doing an interview. So that will, yeah, we'll wait a 10 minutes for that to come on. If you have any questions, if you just approach me now, and we'll, we'll have a private chat. Thank you.